are with Zach Rosen, St. Benedict's Prep. It's a, he's a guy that's coming into his own. Zach, thank you very, very much for joining us here. No problem. Zach, tell me a little bit about you coming into your own. You had a very, very impressive ISA tournament. You also played at the ABCD camp, and so now sort of on the radar for a number of programs, including Iowa Rutgers, all looking at you uh, to potentially recruit you. Yeah, I mean, I just, I mean, I came off an injury that whole season. I broke my elbow. So coming off, I know it was big for me to have a big time summer and a big time, uh, just an overall good AAU season. So I just tried, I just worked hard, took a lot of work to get back from the injury. And I just went out there and did what I had to do. You mentioned the injury, obviously the elbow injury sort of impeded your progress. How have you recovered from the, from that? And what do you still have the effects of that coming into this season? Well, it took a while. It was a lot of hard work, definitely, uh, with the surgery and everything. But uh, everything's great now. I mean, I healed 110%, and I'm just, I'm just happy with where I'm at right now. So you come to St. Benedict's Prep, last year state champions. I mean, just a tremendous program here, uh, playing for Danny Hurley. Tell me a little bit about the opportunity to play for him and what you've learned so far. It's unbelievable, second to none. I mean, he's, uh, he's the best. He knows so much about the game and the opportunity to compete and learn every day at St. Benedict's is just, is just great. We have great players, uh, uh, we're a great team and we just get after it every day, and that's how you really end up getting better. End up improving. You talk about some of the players. Obviously, one of the big guys on your team, Corey Stokes. I mean, you have a team that's loaded with guys that are going Division One. What do you learn, and how important is it? I'm sure that the, that the practices must be as challenging as the game for you. If not more. I mean, uh, practice prepares us so well for the game, especially with the two teams now. We're going against a different team every day. Um, we just get after it. I mean, practice is, practice is where everyone has to compete for their time. Nothing's guaranteed, so you have to come to practice every day ready to go. Pretty pivotal couple of months for you with this upcoming basketball season. Uh, some of the schools are going to make their decisions as to whether or not they want to finalize a recruitment strategy for you, and then in turn you have to make a decision as to where you'd like to go. Tell me a little bit about the decision making and sort of what you're focusing in on uh, over the next couple of months. Well, I, I've decided to uh, reclassify, so I'm doing my junior year over with the injury. Um, I'm getting that year back. But to be honest with you, I mean, I'm, I don't, I'm not really thinking about recruiting because I know if I just do what I have to do and get get it done on the court that I'll be in the right places and the right people will recruit me and I'll end up in the right spot if I just work hard, keep working hard and get it done on the court. All right, thank you very, very much, Zach, and congratulations thus far and good luck to you. Thank you.